All right, guys, welcome to the video review. I'm going to keep this one brief because um, I've already technically reviewed it, but um, just before I was going to get into the rating, I, of course, run out of space on my phone, um, and it's not one that I really need to invest too much time on, if that makes sense. But I want to give it, you know, a good, honest review, so if you guys ever come across it, I'll tell you if I personally think it's worth it or not. So I'm going back over to a reliable brewery for me here in Germany, Camber Bavaria. And this is their Builder Advisor, which is clocking in at 5.6% with an IBU count of 20. Uh, malts are Weizen, Pilsner and Munich. Hops are Perla, Sapphire and Hersbrucker. And the yeast is Bavarian Wheat Beer Yeast. So yeah, 5.6%. Lovely looking label in the sort of rebranded look. Nice aged looking paper with torn edges, that sort of thing. Got the usual and symbolic, not symbolic, well known Camber logo. And yeah, I really like the art direction of their new stuff. There is the new crown as well. So yeah, it's, it's a wheat beer. I don't think it's like a speciality wheat beer or a tweak on style. I think it's like one of their like go to. Um, like signature wheat beers if that makes sense and on the appearance it looks more like a, a Dunkelweiser but I don't know don't you have different malts uh, to make a Dunkelweiser I can't remember it, the, the wheat beer style not my favorite as some of you guys know but when it's I don't really know the ins and outs of brewing in general but when it comes to this style I know even less because I don't really actively go out my way to find wheat beers but I think I picked this up in Barretta a while ago now because I don't think uh, anywhere else that I've been to has sold this and uh, yeah I wanted to try a wheat beer from one of my favorite breweries I'm guessing um, of course I've already tried the Bravo which was like a pale ale wheat beer which they did in collaboration with uh, Hopper Boy another fantastic brewery and of course the love beer which was uh, from what I remember slightly more hoppy um, wheat beer which they did in collaboration with um, uh, Stefan Dietl or Dietl from La Brasse Banda the, those views are already up on the channel if you want to go check them out Camber Bavaria playlist got quite a few video reviews of their beers and they're one of those breweries where <coughs> if I find their beers I'm going to probably pick them up so I can do a review. I've had a really good track record with these guys. I've yet to try a bad beer. And uh, even though, spoiler alert, this wasn't my favourite. In fact, this is probably my least favourite Camera beer that I've tried to date. It's still a high quality product and you'll find that a lot with their beers. So, in terms of the beer itself, <coughs> lovely sort of brownie, dirty hues there. Sort of reminds me of um, like a a, a rye wheat beer with all that like murkiness. It's got this earthy, dirty water look to it. Uh, it's nice and lighter in the actual sort of stem of this glass, but when you look there, it's got this lovely sort of like browny, slightly amberish look. Uh, when I poured the beer at about one finger's worth of a tan coloured head, it has subsided. And I've not drank that much of it, so I've still got enough to do a review. So it certainly looks apart, more along the lines of a Dunkel even though it doesn't explicitly say that on the bottle. Probably should have done a bit more research on this. But anyway, on the aroma, to me that smells like a banana bread. You get that like flowery, yeasty aroma. Definitely pick up that wheat, like torrified wheat. It's got those spices that you'd put in a banana bread as well. You get that clove, a little bit of nutmeg, hint of cinnamon, even a bit of ginger in there also. And a slight breadiness. And of course, there is a fruitiness there, which reminds me of uh, my banana, which is you know, a characteristic of a, a good wheat beer. Well, it depends what sub-style of wheat beer, obviously, but... Yeah, it's, it's banana bread all the way for me. And I do love me a good banana bread. So, let's uh, give it a taste. Prost. That mouthfeel. Upper end of medium. 
It's got this slight velvety feel to it. I find wheat beers, even though a lot of people quote it as one of their beers to go to when it comes to the summer months, I find the style too heavy to session on in general. Um, I don't think I can handle, um, if I was to do even like just drink two or three in one setting, I would feel it the next day, not in terms of a hangover, but just because of like what happens to my own systems. Without going into explicit detail, of course. Let's just say my uh, toilet looks like that when... Uh... Don't even go there. But this isn't really that heavy, as wheat beers go. There's this lovely roasty flavour to it. That banana bread flavour is there also. Because, of course, you've got like the flour. It's more of like... The more doughier parts of a banana bread where it's only just cooked if that makes sense it's a lot more denser as opposed to like the crust of a banana bread but yeah it's, it's like a liquid banana bread you get all those spices those seasonings that you put in there there's a hint of vanilla also and there's like a spiciness on the back end maybe like a slight hint of like a white pepper almost and you know what it's not bad. Um, it's not blowing me away or anything like that. I wasn't expecting it to. Uh, I knew for a fact that it'd be a very solid crafted beer, and that's exactly what it is. If you're into your wheat beers, you're probably going to really enjoy this one. Uh, to me, it's more of like a, well, you can tell by the look of it, to me it's more of a Dunkel wheat beer, which to me is a bit more characterful than like a, a regular wheat beer or a Hefeweizen. Although, I have got images in my head of Paulana's Hifeweizen in this one. It's got similar characteristics to that, but with a little bit more overall character. So yeah, it's not a bad wheat beer at all. Um, it's one that I would recommend, especially if you are more into the style. But if I was to give this a rating, I think the most I could give it, due to my own thoughts on the style and my own palate, is a 7.5 out of 10. Still a very solidly crafted beer, and for the right person, this is going to be almost world class, I'd imagine. And yeah, like I was saying at the start, even though it's probably my least favourite Camber Bavaria beer that I've tried to date, it's by far a bad beer, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. So if you have tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you know uh, to any of my uh, German viewers out there, if you know a little bit more about the brewery and this beer itself, and of course if the guys over at Camber are watching, uh, hit me up in the comments, give me some more information about this beer. What did I miss out on? What didn't I pick up? That sort of thing. What recommendations would you give uh, out there for beers of this style? Because it's one that I don't drink often, but when I come across one that intrigues me, nine times out of 10, I'll pick it up and give it a go. So 7.5 out of 10, uh, another great beer from Canberra Bavaria, it's just not to my tastes. Uh, links down to Canberra Bavaria down below, check out my Canberra Bavaria playlist also for more fantastic beers. And until the next time, I hope you all have a safe whatever. <sighs> Terrible sign off, I'm just going to end it there. See you later guys.